Hi guys, welcome to a new location. Welcome to the eighth episode of the second season of the Germany Travel Vlog series. Today I'm here in Augsburg. So I'm starting this walking tour in Augsburg at the Rathausplatz. In the middle of the Rathausplatz you will find the August Fountain. Further on the Perlach Turn, a clock tower built in 1182, dominates the square and points like a finger in the sky. If you climb the tower you will be rewarded with a fantastic view of Augsburg. In clear weather you can even see the Alps in the south. So in the Rathausplatz you will find the August Fountains and the Perlach Turm, but the main highlight is of course the City Hall. There you see the beautiful Rathaus. The Rathaus or the City Hall of Augsburg is considered one of the most important Renaissance buildings in the world. A striking feature is the painted eagle on front of the building. There you see the painted eagle. Now I will continue our walk to the Fuggerplatz. So this is the Fuggerplatz. You hear some beautiful vocals of the street artists here at the Fuggerplatz. And now we are going to the Weberhaus. So there you have the beautiful Weber house and there is the Fugger house. So behind me you see the imposing Fugger House or rather Fuggerhausen. It was built for Jacob Fugger in the 16th century. Inside is a famous Damenhof, which with its corridors supported by Tuscan columns and beautiful painted arches, is considered one of the most beautiful and significant courtyards in Germany. But I think it's still closed. Let's have a watch. So the Damenhof opens at 3 p.m. So let's continue our walking tour towards the Rotterdor and we will hop in later at the Damenhof. <music> Behind me you see the beautiful building of the Schatzler Palace and the Hercules Fountains. It's all in the Maximilianstraße. And now we are continuing our trip that way. Okay, so we are now at the Cathedral of St. Ulrich. Mm -hmm. 
So the St. Ulrich Cathedral, beautiful from the inside and the outside and it reminds me at the Basilica in Florence, I don't know which was the name but yeah it really gives me Italian vibes So here behind me you have the Alte Schmiede, the old Schmidt. Look at this beautiful old building. So the Alte Schmiede with the Cathedral of St. Ulrich in the background. Now we are going to the next stop, the Rotator. I think from the Red House Platz till now, I think it's like two, three kilometers. Now it starts heavily raining. Too bad, too bad. But also good news, we arrived at the Rotes store. Yeah, so this is the Rotor Gate or Rotor Tor, but yeah. Look at the weather. You also see remains of the city wall. So it's the first time this year it's good weather in Belgium. And what do I do? I decide to go to Germany where the weather also sucks. So here we are again, back in the tunnel, waiting for the, yeah, you hear it. Thunder, massive rain. I don't know if I can continue my walking trip around Augsburg anymore, so... Okay, so let's continue our trip through Augsburg. Then I'm wet, who cares? It's uh, maybe one hour, two hour, and then I am think I'm done. So let's make the best of it. Because the next stop is the Krautengart line. Here you have it. Here you have the entrance. Except in the winter, the Augsburger Kautengart line is a colorful place filled with flowering and herbal plants. This place is open for public and you can even get some small amounts of herbs for your own use and take them home. So this is a really beautiful place, but imagine how it would look like when the sun is out, it's beautiful weather, lots of people will sit here. Now it's empty, but it's still a really quiet and peaceful place. So off to the next stop, the Vogeltor with the water wheel. So that was a beautiful and big water wheel, but it's not the one that I was looking for. That's one it's at the Vogeltor. The Vogeltor was built in 1445 by the then Major Konrad Vogelin. Unfortunately, in the night of 25 to 26 February 1944, during the so-called Augsburger Bomb Night, the gatehouse was badly hit and burned out by an Allied air raid. Only this Gothic arch has been preserved, so now I have to find it, but... And there it is. The water wheel. 
From the Vogel Tor you have this way, you go down here and there you have the water wheel. So guys, I'm already back at the car. I couldn't continue because I'm literally soaked. It's too bad, I wasn't ready with Augsburg. I still wanted to see the Fugerei and the Damenhof. But yeah, that's life I guess. Not everything can be as planned. But did you like this video and the city of Augsburg? Then please give me a thumbs up and a reaction in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Location, and I'll see you again in another location. Ciao!